so in this video we are going to learn about adding custom classes to our array list so in this case we'll make a custom class named employee uh, which will have the attributes name id and salary and uh, it will have its getter and setter methods and we'll implement that in our main class uh, which will have employee list which is our array list and we'll have methods like add employee remove remove by id search by name update salary etc so this is a sample array list and uh, we'll going to add or delete or make operations on employee which is our custom class so we can add multiple employees or delete them uh, the way we want in the array list so we'll start coding this is our class employee and we'll add attributes to it employee name then we'll add salary and then uh, we'll add id that would be employee id after that uh, we'll make constructor of it shortcut is alt insert and we'll select the fields so this will be our constructor then we'll uh, implement getter and setter methods again same that is alt insert so IntelliJ provides to get and set the methods. So we'll select all the attributes, and uh, these are the getter and setter methods. So basically, this is our employee class with its name, salary, and ID, its constructor, and its getter and setter methods to access these fields. So we'll move on to our main class. So this is our main class. We'll make list of type employee. Now we'll write down the method signatures or the method that uh, we are going to implement. And we'll take ID as the parameter. Next method would be search employee. This method is a search employee by name. So we'll pass name as a parameter to it. We'll write down our main method. Object of main. So here we have created object of this class that is main and now we'll define the methods so in the, in the add employee we'll add employee to the list that is employee list dot add we'll take employee the parameter in it to remove the employee by id first we need to find the employee by id and for that employee this is the object of employee and we'll pass in the employee list this for loop will traverse in the employee list so to search for the employee by the id will require the if condition that uh, if employee dot get id equal to equal to the id that we are passing to it which is this one if the id matches then remove the employee and for removing we'll use the remove method and we'll pass this employee as object so this will remove that employee so in the show employee list method we will traverse through the employee list and display it so we'll use the for each loop So this will be a simple uh, show employee list method to display the employee list. Here we are traversing through the list and getting ID, name, and salary for every employee 
object. Here we will define the search employee method. So in this, we have to traverse through the list. So similarly, we make a object of employee and we'll pass on the employee list that we have made here in the top. So we'll use the dot equals method to compare the names. If the name matches, we'll print out the employees rest of the information. Dot get ID. So it will print out the name and then it will print out the information for that matched name. So these are the simple methods that we have uh, used. Similarly, we can do search by ID, search by salary, etc. by using same method. In the main method, we'll write down our employees and their information. And now we'll add them to a list. So for that, uh, we'll use the object. Add employee. Employee one. Similarly, we'll add other employees. So here, all these employees will be added to the list. That is the employee list. So now we'll implement our remove employee method to remove the employee we'll use the remove method that uh, just we have written that is remove employee by id we'll remove we'll remove row one which has id3 then And here we'll search for Raj and Shivam, which will give out the information like their ID and salary. Uh, and after removing, we'll just print out the list, call the show method, and we'll run our main method. So, yeah, here these are the four employees that we have added and then we displayed them after that we called our remove function and removed rohan so here here the rohan is removed and lastly we searched for raj and shivam so that so here we'll get the information as id and the salaries so thank you guys for watching this video stay tuned for the next video in which I'm going to use comparator to compare the elements in the list and sort them.